Hey guys, so I am back with our October cash envelopes video. So I posted a video a couple of days ago sharing with you guys that we finished baby step 3B, which is so super exciting. I feel like we've been on that step like forever, but um, one of the reasons why that step took so long for us is because um, as much as I wanted to, you know, jump into that step right after, you know, baby step three, uh, we did have some other expenses that we had to pay for, like my husband's tuition, and he needed a new engine for his vehicle. So um, I wanted to be putting money towards that account, you know, earlier than what we did, but we had to meet those um, obligations first and then, you know, kind of move on to baby step 3B. But we did and we completed it and it's the best feeling in the world. That being said, um, I've gotten quite a few questions about, you know, if we're just gonna go out immediately and start house hunting. And um, the response to that, I guess, is yes and no. Um, for me, I wanted to hit a certain amount in baby step 3B before I would even start looking at places. And I kind of put those, um, you know, regulations on myself because I know my personality and I get, you know, really emotionally attached to things and I could see us going out and looking at a house and just me wanting to buy it right then and there because I have house fever so bad. But um, I said that we wouldn't even start looking until we had, you know, X amount and which was baby step 3B. And um, after that, we will start looking, we'll contact our realtor, you know, we'll get that ball rolling. And so since we've hit that goal, we can now start doing that. But I definitely want to take my time. I don't want to rush into anything. And I really want to make a smart choice whenever we go to buy our next home. So with that being said, we are still going to be putting, um, you know, money into that account every single month because, um, you know, we need more money than just, you know, what's in there. We need to have money for, you know, things for the house, um, you know, as far as like furnishing and things like that. I'm not going to go crazy, but I do want to buy a few things. Um, I want to get a deep freezer, you know, if the new house doesn't have, you know, appliances, you know, and we need stuff like that or new carpet or, you know, whatever. So, um, moving forward, we're just, we're still going to be putting money into that account every single month. And, um, you know, hopefully here in the next, you know, two or six months, we can find, you know, a really great house. And, um, I'm just really excited to start that process. So that being said, I'm going to share with you guys now our cash envelopes and we are, what we are putting in those envelopes for the month of October. Okay. So here is our cash box. And um, as you can see, it's pretty empty. We had a no spend month last month, so there wasn't really much going on here anyway. But uh, we're gonna put $40 into haircuts and I still need to make a label. Groceries is $500, but I'm only gonna put $100 in here right now because we already went to the grocery store. And uh, so I'm gonna put a hundred bucks right here. Matt and I both are getting $175 in personal spend money this month. Okay. And eating out slash entertainment is going to be 150 Okay, and the cash envelopes down here at the very bottom. Uh, for clothing, we're going to put, oops, sorry, clothing, we're going to put $50 like we normally do. And Connor, he is going to get $20 for his commission. And I still have Matt's uh, secret envelope here. So I'm gonna put $100 of my own money in this envelope. I'm gonna go hide this now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.